Hello from Mina and from me this Lunasa evening. We bring you on a journey with the ancient corn planted here in my friend's wonderful polytunnel growing tall and strong. A fusion of both male and female ripening in the harvest sun. It is a perfect emblem for this time of Lunasa, the Celtic first harvest festival. Traditionally, this plant was planted alongside the squash or the courgette here, representative of it, and the beans towering high because they protected each other. And for two days I studied this majestic plant and created a painting, first layered with pastel, blocking in the pattern, the base colour, and then glazing and preparing my oil paints. I forgot to bring my white and I thought it was going to be a problem, but everything for a reason. This picture came together exactly as it wanted to. For some time I have been celebrating these ancient Celtic festivals. There are four to the year. The first is Samhain at Halloween time, then Imbolc and Bridget's Day, the 1st of February, then Beltana, 1st of May, and Lunasa, 1st of August. Together with the four um, additional festivals of the two equinoxes and the two solstices, they form the full wheel of the year, celebrating the seasonal cycles of nature with song and dance, feasting, fires, visits to the sacred holy wells, blessings of the land and of the animals and of the plants. So my painting of the ancient corn in recognition of the majesty of this plant in its natural form, in its organic form. In my studio and has already found its new home. The brushes are clean, it's Saturday afternoon and I'm going to begin my Lunasa painting now shortly and take you on the journey with me. The old Celtic way was to begin a festival the night before the date of the celebration. So with tomorrow being the 1st of August, we are going to begin tonight. And Mina is going to be here with me as we delve deep and try our best to honour all of the elements of this old, old, beautiful festival the holy well waters, the celebratory dance, the god Lu, who is reaping the harvest of the corn, and also the ancient tale of Lu's mother, who gave her life in order to clear the forests for agriculture. So um, there's going to be a lot going on in this picture and the energy of nature tying everything all together. So I'm going to leave you with a little peek at some of my lovely flowers. And my first sunflower to bloom just today. Happy Lunasa evening, everybody. I hope that you all get to celebrate this ancient festival in your own individual way. And join me later and tomorrow as this new painting for harvest unfolds.